Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I don't know what or even why I'm doing this video, except for it's kind of fun to play around with. And you're, every time you do something like this, you learn a little bit more. And let's say we wanted to make some name badges, and we wanted them We wanted them three inches. I don't know what happened there for a second. 1.5. And then I've got my nudge factor already set on 3.1. So we'll go control D and we're going to move them over. Okay. How long did that take? 20 seconds. How about if you create a macro to do the exact same thing called alternate in? There it's done. I made another one because I was just playing around alternate backslash it drew all the circles I don't know when you you know if this has a practical purpose on this now my mentor Roy Brewer from engraving concept does this for getting photographs ready to be engraved on granite or wood or whatever you wanted does it he, he creates a macro macros are really easy they don't work particularly in shapes uh, I just did the star it didn't draw a star, it drew, drew, a, drew a polygon because the stars under the polygon, polygon, polygon fly out. But let's just create one real fast. Go under tools, go under macros, start recording. We're going to call this fun three. Now let's, let's get a square and this time let's hold down the control button and actually make it a square and let's make it let's change it to three by three now let's control D and move it over and then we'll go control D and move them down now you've got your sweet time just to go under tools macros stop recording you can actually I've never used it but shift control plus O now you need to go under tools again, customization, commands, because macro is a command. Go to all, go down to macros. My computer's a little slow tonight. My macros are normally that I record or at the bottom. Fun three. We're going to give it a shortcut. We're going to make it. Just alternate L because that's nothing nothing else is alternate L. We're gonna sign it. We're gonna hit OK. We're gonna just take these away and we're gonna do alternate L. That's pretty sweet. I don't know the exact uh, use or purpose of this, but if you do a couple of things that has you know five or ten keystrokes to get there, you maybe could create a macro. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.